Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and this is my Project 4 Milestone, uh, my Project Milestone 4 for my UA Tanks project at the University of Advancing Technology. Going right to the milestones, we're going to start with previous milestones met. Uh, I'm going to cover a few of these all at once. Start screen exists with the start options and quick game buttons work. Uh, options screen exists has settings for sound effects, music, uh, volume, two-player mode, map of the day, random map modes, game music plays and is controlled by music volume options, and game sounds, tank, fire, death, bullet hits, all work and are controlled by sound effects volumes, um, player live scores, high scores show in the game UI and the UI functions correctly in both single and two-player modes, and two-player mode utilizes uh, split controls and split screens um, during gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and cover all of these. Right now. So we have the main menu. Uh, as you can see, I have some buttons here. Um, let's go ahead and bring the main volume down, our SFX volume. Uh, I have a graphic settings. You can see the clarity reducing, getting sharper as it goes up. One or two player options, map of the day, random map, toggles. We go to our manager, watch here for a number of players, adjust it in real time through the game manager, and then as we transition to the next scene, um, everything that needs it will re reference this number of players and uh, map of the day stuff. And you can see that toggle also works. Um, let's go ahead and just show this. It's not going to do anything right now until we build the game. Unless, of course, I didn't map it. That is an easy fix. Quick button, main menu, main menu, quick game. I know what the problem is. It is working. We just can't see that it's working. There we go. Since we haven't built the game, we need to indicate that that is actually working. Um, and I could see that everything was um, put together correctly.
There we go. So that will application quit when you hit the quit button. Of course, that doesn't do anything now um, because the game's not built, like I said before. So what's your manager here? So main screen, quit button works. Player one and two options, map of the day options, random map options. We do map of the day, we'll do one player to get a look at it. We go to map generator, and you can see his map of the day, map seed 2051 for today. And if we look at our map, we can see what 2051 looks like. So if I stop my game and I play again, map of the day, we'll go two players this time. Uh, you can see it's still the same map. Map of the day. Map C 2051. So that is working. Um, over here. Split screen. Score and health. Score health and lives. For both players. Um, I made some adjustments to the skin. To differentiate between the two players. Uh, you can see the controls work separately. So you can see player lives and score is separated out. Go ahead and kill him off. You can see that when a player dies, they randomly spawn in, in another location as well as the enemies. When they're killed, they randomly spawn in another location. Um, I set up the logic so that the enemies obviously don't have a life count. So when they die, they just respawn with full health. When the players die, they also just respawn in a random location with full health. Uh, but they lose a life. As you can see the life counter going down over there. So we'll go ahead and kill off. Uh, I also have... My camera toggle works for both players. And one life.
thanks to Rackies and his YouTube tutorials, my health bar transitions from green to yellow to red. And then when one player dies, it goes back to full screen one player mode. And now when the enemies kill me, And we'll go to the game over screen. And here's my scoreboard, uh, which I set up, but I just haven't um, I haven't tied all the data into it. Um, of course, when this is finished up, um, the score will um, go from the, the highest player score and to the scoreboard. And these will all drop in as um, new scores are acquired. So I would have this in a list or an array of some sort and um, that's something that I plan on working on in the future as I continue this project after this class um, but I just wasn't able to get to it this time and I am I have run out of time on this project and so I needed to get it submitted but I plan on finishing this as um, soon as I'm able to and so I say I can return to the main menu, quit, works here as well, back to the main menu, these options, continue to persist. So I can go to one player, random, and I see it's a different map, spawn in a random location at start. So going back to our milestones, our objectives, previous milestones met, uh, start screen exists with options, quit button works, sound effects and volumes, uh, we've seen that in our options menu with the sliders, those work, uh, game music plays and is controlled by the music volume, we've seen that, uh, game sounds play, tank fire, death bullet hit, we could hear all those sounds. Uh, players' lives and scores, high scores show in the game, UI, and functions correctly in both single and two-player modes. Um, I demonstrated that two-player mode utilizes separate controls and split-screen cameras. I was able to demonstrate that. Options and high scores persist. This is something that I still need to add, um, but I, I just wasn't able to make it for this uh, to get this in on time. Um, game ends when both players uh, lives go to zero. We've seen that. Um, when dies, the other one continues until he's killed off. Um, game tracks the score for each player. We've seen that working. Uh, the game manager is a singleton and controls the game logic. Um, I showed some of that with toggling these options here. Um, I added my settings menu here to the game manager so he controls everything whatever is toggled here gets accessed by the other scripts and um, determine how the game plays uh, players lives how many players are on this in the scene um, what the conditions are for if my players die and you can see here in my tank motor I have my death um, logic, and so 
if a tank dies and it's tagged as an enemy, he just respawns and his health is replenished. Otherwise, if it's a player, um, current lives is reduced, current health, uh, health is replenished, spawn in a random location. If current lives is less than one, then set the game object, the tank game object to um, false or deactivate it and then subtract the number of players from the game manager itself and if it's tagged as a player this is probably redundancy I don't need um, then the game manager um, if the game manager number of players is less than one then go to the uh, game over scene by taking this current index and just adding one to it and that's how my main menu works to control how the scenes transition um, get active scene add one to the build index um, for my return to main it just calls the main load scene index and then my application quit Settings for my audio mixer. We'll take a look, closer look at that. Um, so I have my mixers here, my main and my sound effects. Um, if we go to I believe it's in the options menu, so let's Start the game up one more time. So here on my volume control you watch if you watch this slider and the master volume. I have to be on the master volume. You'll see that my slider, my volume, my master volume is all it's all tied together. And so, like I said, my settings is on my manager here. Set my set volume is attached to set volumes, dynamic float passes in. Um, that controls all these sliders. Um, take a look at the manager in the settings you can see that I pulled my main mixer and my F sound effects mixer right here into my settings um, so I can access those values um, drop my buttons in here to access those values and make those real-time changes to my game manager The graphic settings, it just calls to our project settings and quality. I set these quality levels up to match this right here. And so when this is adjusted, it just adjusts to the different quality levels. We can take a look at my script and my settings menu here, set quality open that up just a switch case um, based on the, the in index that's passed in um, it will either set the quality to one of these different levels
for my buttons and my toggles. This code just changes the sprite and then sets the setting for the game manager. Going back to the game manager, it is still controlling everything in my game. You can see all of these values will populate when the game starts. Um, I need to add in player two stats over here. See the real time access of data. Um, this designer set enemies to spawn. Um, player one max health is set. His current health comes in when he spawns. And in the code, you can see. Uh, as I said in the last video, this is the same game manager that we've been using the whole time. Um, right here, it is a singleton. If instance is null, instance this. Otherwise, destroy game manager. And of course, we have our public static game manager instance. Looking error free. As you can see, there's no errors in the console. Just so you see, I don't have it to automatically clear. So, no errors there. comments all my code is commented out you can see all my new scripts have been commented and then all my old scripts still have comments project organization uh, my scenes are very minimalized with everything being spawned in now um, for my project I have my folder separated out are audio, game objects, scene scripts. And so, get an idea of what I have going on here. Spawners, power ups, projectiles, tanks, uh, room prefabs for the map generator, my scenes, game over, main, and start menu all my scripts and uh, I brought in text mesh pro and then I have all my unity assets that I've used which I'll go over in just a minute uh, code logic and structure everything mostly works the AI is a little bit uh, weird since I added in a second player, they don't track properly uh, to both players, so I have to fix something there. But mostly the logic is working and working for both players. Um, there's just some issues to work out, smooth out with the AI. And game exceeds minimum requirements. Um, so something that I always try to do is everything looking cohesive game menu options um, I look for themes that um, kind of go with the game I'm not a designer but I utilize the packages that I find on the unity store and try to make them work well with the game that we're, we're putting together in this case the UA tanks this kind of looks like a some mechanical kind of tank looking 
theme. So I went ahead and got that. Um, so adding in the themes, adding in um, my tank objects. Um, like I mentioned previously, um, I put in the logic for all this um, turret movement, the the barrel, uh, cannon barrel, um, recoil, uh, radar is in constant motion, the uh, guns can be rotated, uh, the tracks on the tires are um, appear to be moving, they're not moving, they're, they appear to be moving. And that's what happens when you don't select any options. I hadn't tried that yet, and so that's uh, it's a good find for a bug that I can fix um, to set default values, which um, our teacher has already highly recommended that we always do. So I need to go back and make sure that that happens. Anyway, you can see the tread on the tires. Kind of looks like it's moving. It's just, um, I'm just adjusting the material on it as I press my input buttons. Uh, you can see that AI is freaking out right now. I don't know what's causing that. Um, as you see, the, the spinning radar, guns, um, barrel elevation, recoil. Um, as I mentioned before, level design. I add a little bit to the prefabs that we were provided. Uh, tank sound explosion, particle effects, which I added in with uh, Unity packages. Um, so hopefully those things will uh, meet the requirement for exceeding the minimum. And to go over my Unity packs, because I've been wanting to do it um, in several of the previous videos, but just kept forgetting. Um, so for my tank prefabs, all of them, I just changed the materials to make them look different. We have RTS number four light tank by CG Pitbull. For my tank sounds, uh, T80 tank sound system by Sound Effect Studio. Mechanized Game GUI by Zuria A. It's a great package. I'm glad I got it. Uh, Unity Particle Pack, free. This is for some of my visual effects, explosions. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I, I haven't even used. A realistic explosions pack. I'm actually not using the explosions from this because they're a little too real for my application, but um, what I am using is some of the materials and things to uh, make the scene look a little better. Um, but this is also a great package. A 
electronic dramatic pulsing action themes music pack this is for from new station productions uh, that's my background music and this realistic explosion pack was from crypto 289 and unity technologies from the unity particle pack uh, i didn't cover those and finally, explosions, impacts, and guns is all my sounds. And this is from Kafofo. And I believe that is all the requirements uh, for this milestone four, with the exception of the persistent high score. Um, but this is Project Milestone 4 for UA tanks at um, in GPE 205 at the University of Advancing Technology. Thank you.